hello there and welcome back for another video i am brown eyes um remember so as a man thinketh in his heart then so is he we are to think upon things that bring us a good report we are to speak things that are not as though they were all ready uh well it's early in the a.m um uh, i think i dozed off a little bit earlier today so that's why i'm up now but you know it's been storming here so when it rains and it's kind of stormy and it gets you know so quiet it's it's late there there's less movement um i don't know sometimes i feel like my spirit guides want me to get up and kind of meditate or just take advantage of the serenity of the atmosphere because in 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 those quiet moments hear me now in those quiet moments there is a lot spiritually being said you just have to tap into it so you know i i am a thinker you know i'm always thinking especially about spiritual things spiritual connections emotional connections that's a part of who i am as a scorpio but you know i wanted to make this video uh to whom it may resonate with you could be male or female. It doesn't matter. It's all about you knowing your worth. And I just want to encourage you not to settle for the almost. You know the almost. Uh, he would be the perfect idea guy. He's almost the right guy. But uh, I, I never talk to him at night or or I, I don't know, I think he's involved with someone. Something's just not adding up. Or she could be the perfect one, but her phone always blowing up. But, you know, I don't know. She, I mean, she almost could be the one, you know. But, you know, instead, you know, because it's so easy to get caught up into that cycle of denying your just due to, to whom you are and what and how valuable you are. You know, but I had to learn that. It seems like I'm being so tested here. I don't know if you guys are being tested, but it's like once you really cleanse yourself of negative old past energy, it's like other new ener new energy come towards you, but it's similar to what you just got rid of. And I'm sitting here and I'm just, you know, I do a lot of introspection. I be... I always go back and review the day and, and, you know, just check it out to see if it's something I need to take note of. If it's something I need to pay attention to. It's something I can learn from it. And I'm noticing sometimes it, it, it's almost laughable because it's as if the universe is playing with you. Because it's like the universe is like, yeah, I know you don't understand what's going on. You only know what we allow you to see and what we allow you to understand. I know it's not going to make sense to you. It's not supposed to. We know what's going on. And in time, you will too. Even if it takes you coming over here on this side, you will know. So, I'm meeting guys. You know, and, and for the record, I'm not out here approaching anybody. I just be minding my own little business. I'm not out here anyway. But for the little time that I do have to get out, I'm always being approached. But it seems like now I've dealt with younger guys and I'm finding now that older guys is on that same energy. And it's absolutely freaking astounding. <laughs> it's like astounding here. It, it, it makes me really just just step back and look at it because it shows me that it seems like uh, universally or generally, it seems like the men in their lower vibration side, and, and that's the majority of the men, I'm just keeping it real, have this one main thing in common as men. And it's, it's, it's what, what the Bible would say as far as the thorn in their side. I feel like the men's dick is their thorn in their side, while a woman's emotions is her thorn in her side. I feel like it's something, 
And this is my opinion. Now, this is just what I'm coming to understand. And, and this is just how I feel. I feel like that thorn would be in your side to you, to you ascend. Because that is the thing that is supposed to keep you grounded on a certain level here. Now, men will have to deal with their sexuality and, and their lack of restraint as far as their dicks are concerned. And and I can't even begin to say that uh, I can relate, but I can, however, say I understand. Because now I can step back and look at it from a spiritual perspective. And get myself out of it, you know, with, with, with nothing attached to it. It's like from person to person. And it's like, you know, we as women, we go through so many things emotionally. To, you know, most of the times we're, we're misunderstood or, or we look looked upon as weak, weaker because we are emotion, emotional. While men have to deal with being able to tame their lust that's always... I mean, they lust never take a break. It don't even take a 15-minute smoke break. You hear me? I feel like these men are in... Because I'm meeting, I'm meeting so many men, and they're so sexed up. I, I've noticed a lot of men. And the reason why I'm on this this energy of these men with this, this addictions or these sexual addictions is because... I've just noticed, I've just, I don't know, I just take notice of my surroundings. And if I'm around and I see people out, I always notice couples out. And I always wonder, and I always pay attention, that if it's a guy and a girl and they're out, and a a, a beautiful woman passes by, is he gonna look at her? And I tell y'all, nine times out of ten, he looks at her. Now, he may do it in a very slick-ass way, but he always looks at her. I mean, he, they always turn around and look. It, it, it could be ever so subtle and so slick, but they always look. I remember I dated a guy, and he claimed he was so crazy about me, but I wasn't into him. And I tell you, this guy would look at every single woman that passed by, and I was... I, you know, we were friends. I could, I could talk to him. It didn't offend me because he wasn't my man and we wasn't on no, in no romantic relationship. So he could be, you know, he could be honest with me. And I said, you know, I'm happy I'm not your woman. I said, cause I, I noticed that you, you look at every woman. I said, what, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm so happy. I am not your freaking woman the way you, cause that's so rude and disrespectful. What the fuck is up with that? I'm like, why why do you why don't men do that? You know, I wanted to understand this. I wanted to know. He said, I don't know. He said, cause I, I don't want these women. He said, it's just I don't know. He said, to tell you, I don't know. It's just it's just it's just in a man's nature to just look at a woman to just uh to just to just take in a woman's body. And I say, you know, I said, I guess. I said, but I feel like you men are just in lust. I'm like, because we're not in a real, me and you are not together. We're, you know, we, we're just hanging out. But if I was in a relationship with you, you would still, excuse me, you would still be doing that very same thing. So it's not just a matter of it's in a man's nature just to look. It's in a man's nature to be lustful. Because it's one thing to see a particular woman that stands out above the others. And you see something in them and you it take, gets your attention and you're admiring. But we're talking about lust here. You don't have to lust after every single woman. A man has to look at a woman's ass, ladies. Now, we all know that men, let's just keep it real. If a, a nice, attractive woman passes by, you're going to look at her ass. I don't know what that's about, but, but they do that. And so what I have understand is that all men seem to have this one common thing, uh, this common uh, thorn in their side is that they're dealing with some type of sexual bondage here to the point where it is a sickness. Now, we could take it a step further and say a woman's emotions can be a sickness as well if it gets that bad. And we know emotions can. So. 
how do you balance the scales here? How in the world can you meet a guy, whether there's someone from your past or a new person or a potential person, and they're all in that same vibration of lust and want to conquer? Who wants that energy? You know, because I know it ain't because most of us women ain't the fuck good enough. No, it's just that you men have not decided to really grow up and put your foot down and uh, take control of your life. So that means that you're going to keep on taking women through unnecessary changes because of the choices you can't make for your own life. So I'm not going to rant and rave. This video is simply just simply to serve as just to friendly remind you to never settle for the almost don't settle for anyone that 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 if it wasn't for uh the creeping eye this guy would almost be the one uh if he had a good job this guy would almost be the one uh his sex is garbage but this guy would almost be the one or this woman is it's a gossiper. She loves to keep up confusion. She likes to fuck multiple men. Or she just ain't shit. Don't ever allow yourself to settle for the almost. Because if you settle for that, then that's what you'll always get in your life is the almost. Instead of getting what you deserve, which is above all and more than you can ever imagine or even ask for on your own. The universe has a way of, of giving us that. So this video is to settle to just to remind you to know your worth. Once again, know your worth. Never, ever, ever, ever settle for the almost. Your best is yet to come. It is on its way. If you do not settle for the almost. Thank you guys so kindly for your attention. I love you guys so much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. Leave me a comment. Let me know your experiences. Are people really approaching you these days? It seems like there's something going on with these dudes. Just and, and the sad part is most of them know that they got something already going on. It's like you leave out of one situation and you run into another one. And see, that's why I do Divine Masculine's reading. Because I want to know the energy that I'm going into as a single woman. And it seems like the energy of these men are all the same. You know, you always get these inspirational readings like they're making changes, but it seems like the only changes they're making is in the mental or in their fantasy world. But as far as initiating, they ain't initiating shit because they stuck in their lust. Don't no fucking body want nobody who's stuck in their lust. I'm just saying that that's all what, what we're running into. You know, it, it's just, it's disgusting. It, it's, it's shameful. Because how are you going to build stability in, in this world with, with what's going on now? Shit, it seems like somebody be really trying to partner up, settle your ass down, and build some shit. Be happy with your one vagina. Work it the hell over the way you see fit. She has every right to work your penis over the way she sees fit. You guys should become one and make your world what you want it to be. Live in it and just, just grow and be happy and abundant together. But everybody's not on that. You don't see unity. You know, that's why I don't get caught up in the protest because people are not individually healed. So if you're not making the changes to individually heal yourself, you can march all over. You can do the million man protest march. But if you're not trying to heal yourself individually, then the collective march will be in vain because when the march is over and everybody got to go home to their little corner, you're faced with yourself and your demons. So it's all about healing yourself before you can make an impact on anyone else. So having said that, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.